Podcast Incorporated, located in Zimbrota, Minnesota, has specialized in precast concrete products for the electric industry since 1969. Drawing from many years of research and experience, Concast developed Fibercrete, a proprietary blend of high-strength concrete reinforced with special fibers using steel reinforcement where required. This advanced technology makes possible light, thin shell products which can replace the more massive units made of ordinary steel reinforced concrete. Concast's product line includes precast trench, box pads, flat pads, ground sleeves, splice boxes, and vaults. These products are ideal for substations and pad mounted or submersible apparatus. Concast has been a supplier of cable trench since the early 1980s. Trench is chosen to minimize downtime when accessing installed cable or pipe systems. Precast trench is chosen because its installed cost is less and it's faster to install than the poured on site version. Easily removable covers expose the content for inspections or modifications due to technology upgrades, failure replacements, or adding new substation equipment. It should be considered any time re-entry to a buried system is required. While substations have been the primary users, other applications have recently adapted this concept. Cell towers make the transition from the base to the control house using light traffic trench with precast concrete cable spacers. Power plants use a closed bottom trench to contain coal ash slurry piping out to the settling pond. Railroads use narrow trench with a hinged cover in congested station yards. Manufacturing plants use precast closed bottom trench in drainage applications or for protecting accessible pipe banks. There are five basic parts to the Concast trench systems. Standard channels, universal channels, transition channels, covers, and end plates. Concast offers three loading designs, pedestrian, light traffic, and heavy traffic. Pedestrian is rated at 200 pounds per square foot for pedestrian foot traffic only. They are lightweight and one or two men can easily handle the channels. Pedestrian trench offers a low cost and compact way of distributing various cables around the substation. It is easily adaptable to special layouts, unusual angles, matching up with existing trench, and transitioning to conduit systems. Light traffic trench is rated at 16,000 pounds per axle load. It is used in areas where lighter vehicles, such as pickup trucks, may require access. Heavy traffic, which is often called road crossing trench, is rated at 32,000 pounds per axle load for the larger vehicle access. Both the light and heavy traffic sections require the use of a lifting rig that can handle the 1,000 to 4,000 pound channels. Universal sections are used for T's, L's, and crosses. End plates are added to terminate any unused opening. There are no special adapters required in the Concast trench system. Transition sections are used to match pedestrian to light or heavy traffic channels. Open bottom channels with solid covers is standard. Closed bottom and various other covers are available as options. Manufacturing pedestrian rated channels is done with the use of steel molds and a spray up process. The inside of the channel is the mold side which produces a smooth finish. Reinforcing rods and structural formers are used to add strength at the corners and edges. A slurry of polymer enhanced concrete is sprayed and chopped alkali resistant zircon fibers are added to the mixture. Several layers are sprayed to build to the required design thickness. Each layer is hand rolled to consolidate the matrix. To complete the product, the outside is tooled to produce a smooth finish. After an overnight curing time, the molds are stripped and the channel section edges are sanded smooth for safe handling. The manufacturing process for light and heavy traffic channel uses steel forms for casting. 
This allows for the placing of galvanized inner edge protectors, mounting channels, and threaded lifting inserts. High strength concrete slurry is added to a matrix of one half inch steel reinforcing rods. The mixture is vibrated down to eliminate air pockets and then struck off to a smooth surface. After curing for a day, the molds are stripped off and the rough edges removed. The finished sections must continue to cure for at least seven days to build up strength before they are shipped. Consult the catalog or our website at www.concastinc.com for the complete listing of standard section sizes, weights, and available options.